so it's about 11 in the morning and today is the Dewey's 24 hour readathon and I have to admit I haven't really read that much because I've been doing other things so if you've been following my Instagram you've seen some of my stories um, it's independent bookstore day in the US and so I wanted to share I got a whole bunch of stuff I got some free stuff and then I bought some books so I'm just gonna share like the free stuff that I got um, so first off they had this book which is feminism a very short introduction and you can tell this was an exclusive for independent bookstore day and it was free so that was cool um, they were also my store was giving away arcs and two of these I own already but I thought well this is a really great opportunity to give some stuff away to people so first off I got an arc of the girl who smiled beads um, and also the Break by Catherine Petherina Vermet, um, which I own both of those, but I'm going to give them away. Um, and then I also got Ritz and Escoffier by Luke Barr. This is like a um, nonfiction about food. Um, he also wrote another book called Provence 1970 about um, some famous figures from that time period specifically regarding food and then the last one that I got was the Oracle Year by Charles Sewell I'm not sure actually what this one's about I just I've heard of it and so I thought hey it's free um why not and some of the oh I also got this little patch for free which some of you know I have not finished reading this series but I'm going to eventually I swear and then there's three things that I bought actually when I was at the store. So the first is a book on the table and it's like a little tiny collection of flash fiction and Celeste Ng is in there. I love her writing. Um, there's 12 different little stories in here and this was also exclusive for Independent Bookstore Day. Um, and then two other exclusives, I got the book club journal and I do, um, I am running a book club right now, so this is just full of, like, um, the title of the book, the author who was participating with the book club, what we ate and what we drank. That doesn't really apply to my book club because we're all, because <laughs> it's online. Um, it's not currently really widely open, just so you know. Um, it's only for, it's pretty much just for people who are following me on Tumblr at this moment, but look, you can see my kitty. <laughs> he really wants outside. Um, but mostly I got this journal because it has a whole bunch of, this whole part back here is a bunch of suggestions um, of books. So like this um, category is messed up love stories, contemporary works worthy of becoming classics, um, and there's just a ton of those suggestions in the back of that. And then the last thing I got is this tote, um, like a pencil bag or whatever the heck you want, and it says, be kind to everyone, make art, fight the power. Colson Whitehead. I'm not like the biggest Colson Whitehead fan. Witty! <laughs> um, but I really like this tote, and plus it's an exclusive. You can only get this by going to an independent bookstore on today, April 28th. about 10 30 in the evening and um so far i finished that third volume of death note and it um was really good i have been watching the anime as well since last summer and um so now i'm further in the manga than i got to in the anime and it's just so twisty and turny um i had actually like forgotten something that happened at the end apparently because I was like Kira what are like light what are you talking about <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on right now but I got it figured out um so I think what I want to do now is I'm going to read a bit of the recovering before I go to sleep technically there's still like seven and a half hours of the readathon to go so um I might try to stay up a couple more hours and read, but, uh, yeah, I probably could have read more, but I took a nap 
earlier this afternoon. <laughs> and then I also watched a couple episodes of Westworld. Uh, so I'm not caught up, so no spoilers, please. Um, but yeah, it's really good. So I decided to do that instead because if I tried to force myself to read anymore, I would have just zonked out, just zoned out, um, cause I've read between A Court of Wings and Ruin and Death Note. I've read about 500 pages today and I, yeah, like 300 or so of that has been manga. Um, but of course I also like went to independent store day and so it's just been a busy day. I need, I really needed that nap. Um, but we'll see how much more I get read tonight. I think that it should probably be considered somewhat ironic that I am reading this book. And meanwhile, look what I have in hand. I'm drinking some wine while I'm reading about alcohol, alcoholism. So it is about noon here where I am today, which means that the readathon has been over for about six hours now. And I think I did pretty well. Um, I did sleep because I like sleep. Um, but I read about 200 pages in A Court of Wings and Ruin total. And then um, I did finish Death Note, which is like 300. Oh, it's like 400 and something. Just over 400 pages in here. And then. Also, I did work on the recovering. I read about, I only read about 30 pages of this, but like I said, I read it in pretty small chunks. I didn't get Talia on the offbeat at all because, um, yeah, Independent Bookstore Day really took a huge chunk out of my time, not complaining whatsoever because I got some really great stuff and I'm super excited about it. Um, I do plan on filming a haul, probably today but I have so many books to haul that I'm gonna split it up I think by genre so I think I'm gonna do like YA and like genre fiction and then have a separate video for adult and like literary type fiction um, but yeah I would say it was a pretty successful readathon I'm not sure what the next one I'm gonna do is I don't <laughs> keep track of the dates until they're like right up on me and I'm like oh it's time for another readathon but yeah I'll definitely keep participating in those and if you participated, let me know how you did, um, how if you were keeping track of like page numbers or how many hours you were able to read, and I will see you soon. Bye!